Okay, so like I said, we can put X's and O's here. This is where we got in the last video. If you haven't seen those, watch them and you'll be caught up. We want to be able to change this message right here for each person. Like if it's if it's X's turn, it wants to say like it's X's turn right now. If it's a winner, we want to be able to put that. We want to be able to detect if there's a winner or not. So um, also we want to be able to get to where we can't just keep clicking these after they've been used. So we've got several things that we need to need to do. Let's handle this message first right here. We want to be able to talk to the user. So let's go back into our HTML and you'll see right here that the div ID of message is the one that's getting the message. So we need to target that and create a function. So let's call it, let's make another function here. And this will be called set message, right? And it's going to take an argument of MSG short for message, right? So what we can do is go document dot get element by ID and the ID of that was message so we can just go message and we go dot inner text is going to equal msg which we pass in so this is just going to find that message element and change the inner text into msg so let's call this somewhere actually on the game start since document dot turn is set up to x at first we can just go set message and then we can go uh, document dot turn uh, gets to start let's refresh it x gets to start it's a blank screen so we go x o x o x o okay so that's cool but we still need this to change to see whose turn it is so how we go about doing that? So basically like you need to be able to handle if it's X's turn, it needs to say up there, it's X's turn. If it's, if it's I's turn, you need to be able to do that. We also need to handle to where this can't happen right here. So let's go into our next move and we'll go if uh, square dot inner text is equal to nothing if it's an empty space then we can do all of this just put that in there and then we'll go else we'll send a message to the user we'll say set message um, pick a uh, square uh, pick a square not in use, that's too much, just uh, pick another square, is what it will say. So let's see if this works. Refresh, X, O, and I try to click on that O, and it says pick another square. Cool. So that's that's pretty good. That's, that's working. That's another part that we have fixed. So now we need to get it to where it's the message is switching to whoever's turn it is. Okay. So we can handle that in the next video. Let's just end this one right here, and then we'll handle that moving forward in the next video, and then we'll start detecting some win state. So cool.